Hi everyone! I have a question. What do you do when you are upset or when you are irritated with something, when you're angry and actually it's going on for a little bit. It's not like, oh, it's happened and now it's fine again. Because what's behind this discomfort is always a belief or thoughts that we're ha you're having about something or someone. And this week I really had this experience myself, and that's why I wanted to bring this topic here. Because I, I wasn't really feeling good about it. I mean, I was having judgments about my teenager daughter. I was having judgments about, you know, how late she was coming back home after being out with her friends. And I noticed that even though it happened maybe in the last two weeks, maybe two times, maybe, yeah, two times the most, how enormous it actually turned to be in my head and how much time and energy took of my life because I just noticed that I was feeling um, kind of irritable with other things around me and other topics because of those thoughts I was having about my daughter's social life. So I got to the point that I wasn't really enjoying myself. I wasn't enjoying the way I was behaving. I wasn't enjoying the way I was thinking about her or thinking about our relationship. And that really made me question. So how do I want to continue? Do I want to go on in this kind of eh, negative cloud that of course my ego was enjoying. It's like, oh, I know she should know better or she should behave, she should whatever she should lots of things uh, but my well-being wasn't there you know I was believing those things and maybe wanting her to change but I wasn't feeling well I wasn't feeling peaceful I wasn't feeling like yeah this is a way I want to continue my life definitely not so that made me stop and really investigate my thoughts and the way I did it, you know, there's just several ways we can do and I use life coaching, I use of course the Miracle Choice game, but this time I decided to open Baron Katie's book, uh, one of her books, and it's actually just a second because I've got the book right here, I thought I didn't, so Loving What Is, and for those of you who know her work already, and who maybe have heard about it or don't have never heard about Baron Katie, I will leave the link here in the description. But what made me realize, and because I've known her work for many, many years, but it was just such a good reminder just opening the book and just even because she teaches uh, four steps or some steps that you can deal with your thoughts. And you can really investigate, you know, what, what, what are they doing there? Are they really true? And uh, what sense they make? I'm not going to go, you know, in depth here. But just to mention that just by reading the introduction made me shift the way, first of all, I was feeling, not so much thinking about my daughter. Um, because it made me remember that if I don't stop, and investigate and observe what's going on in my head, I will very easily get caught up in this cycle of, uh, you know, negativity, judgment, attack, anger, whatever it is, that's not really ultimately where I want to be or where I want to go to. So if you don't stop that will increase, that will take more and more form, and that will actually become kind of a solid thing, a reality, and it's harder than to get out of it. And the funny thing, of course, for those of you who know the law of attraction, it will just keep proving itself because this is the way we see things. We, we, you know, we create our own reality that way, and the Course in Miracles talk about it as well. But if we stop, like I did, stop, I'm, I've had enough, Katya, I want to know what's going on, I want a change, I don't want to go on like this, thinking this way about my daughter. So I stopped and I investigated, you know, and you can use whatever way, and as I said here, Baron Katie's work is just wonderful for that, as well as The Course in Miracles, Miracle Choice, 
and whatever other way you want to do it but stop and observe what's going on and in a practical level I suggest very simple get a piece of paper and write down all the judgments all the thoughts you're having about that situation or that person and just by doing that it's just amazing the shift and that for me was a little bit what happened when I just read the introduction of Baron Katie's book it's amazing when you actually see the ego show that's going on it's like wow this is just oh funny because i love the uh, idea of looking at it with love and with humor as well because it is a little bit of a you know performance going on in our heads about things all day long so if we don't stop and clear it out and this is one way of doing it write them down as much as you want as horrible as it sounds just get it out there because then you know by doing that first of all you're doing a bit of a cleaning job and getting it out of your head and put it in a piece of paper but also you can visualize you can see it's like wow this is interesting oh that's what my ego is mm, wanting me to believe or this is what i've been uh, believing it all these years without realizing it was actually my mom's experience and I kind of heard from her and I keep on believing this way as well so it's just very very useful and what you do after that you know there's several different ways you can deal with it but this is the first step observe without wanting to change or needing to change anything substitute or think in a better way no not yet just first write them down and just observe and just by doing that you're going to be amazed of how you can start separating what really is happening and what you're thinking about it and where the drama is and where the heaviness is and where the pain is and the confusion and everything so i hope this is helpful and i'd love to hear from you of course you want to know more and how to take it further i'd love to assist you as well with different techniques and things i can offer but for now, just observe, investigate, and let us know. Thank you, and have fun. Bye.